Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at two more examples, five and six from that previous list. The fifth example is where we have an alternating series, so we want to use the alternating series test. Here you can of course clearly see that as n increases by one, you're going to have plus and minus, plus and minus in all the terms. Now if you use the alternating test, you want to see what the next term in the list will be. We simply increase n by to n plus one in each case. And that should be less than when we don't increase n by 1. And sure enough, when you let n go to n plus 1, since the denominator is raised to the third power, the denominator grows faster than the numerator, which means that this will become a smaller and smaller fraction, and therefore consecutive terms will become smaller. Secondly, when we take the limit as n goes to infinity, we can ignore everything else except the first two terms in the numerator and the denominator, or I should say the first term in the numerator and the first term in the denominator. And you can clearly see that when you go to the limit, as n goes to infinity, this will then converge to zero, and therefore the series converges. Our next example, number six, here we're going to use the ratio test. But in other words, we're going to increase n to n plus one, and then compare that test. So we're going to take the n plus 1 term divided by the n term. If we then simplify that, this becomes n plus 1 over n. And then since these are negative exponents, we can bring this to the numerator becomes positive. This to the denominator becomes positive. And then when we simplify that, we get 1 over e to the 2n plus 1. And we have n plus 1 over n. Now we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. Of course, this term will become 1, and here 1 over e to the 2n plus 1 as n goes to infinity becomes infinity in the denominator, which means that in the limit, those terms become 0, and therefore we know that the series converges. Again, another simple example of how to apply the various techniques, again, recognize the form, and apply the proper technique to find if the series converges or not. 